when they shut it down, they stopped the mandated reporters from being able to see children that were being abused and sexually molested, and in fact sent them home and abandoned them to their abusers with no way to watch, and referrals drop 50 to 60 percent. The view, because they're Democrats and they have politicized this issue. Dragon Pachekna, Dr. Fuse, bulges eyes on stage at Whoopi. Nobody expected this, so let's give it a try. This is by Dodge in Ezai. Yes, it's true. Dr. Phil's eyeballs pop completely out of his head on mm -hmm. the view, but he also completely destroys Whoopi Goldberg in this segment, mm -hmm. Sarah Haynes. And what's the other one? And Navarro. This is Doug in exile. This is this is how we do it in exile. In like 08, 09, smartphones came on and and kids started, they stopped living their lives and started watching people live their lives. Mm. True. We start with agreement and then he's going to set the whole place on fire. <laughs> so we saw the biggest spike and the highest levels of depression, anxiety, loneliness, and suicidality since records have ever been kept. And also not controversial, that depression, suicidality Anxiety. has grown with yeah. our use of phones. phones. It's been terrible. Huh. And it's just continued on and on and on. And then COVID hits 10 years later, and the same agencies that knew that are the agencies that shut down the schools for two years. Okay, so now look at his eyeballs bulging out of his head. Dr. Phil has become a sideshow freak. Mm -hmm. But his comments uh, are correct that the same True. experts that just... knew about the lack of activity and what kids were doing on the phone also mm. knew that you can't take kids out of the public uh, in social distancing. And so they might have saved their life regarding the virus. That's not what I'm arguing at all. I'm only saying if you put kids in what is essentially solitary confinement in a home mm. and no longer allow them to go outside and play with each other in public groups, so like there's a certain amount of socialization that happens in our school, um, the experts knew it would damage them to some degree. Who does that? Who takes away the support system for these children? Who takes them away and shuts it down? Who does that? It's people like The View. He's going, who does that? Who shuts it down when they knew there would be damage? And by the way, he knows. when they shut it down, they stopped the mandated reporters from being able to see children that were being abused and sexually molested, and in fact sent them home and abandoned them to their abusers mm -hmm. with no way to watch, and referrals dropped 50 to 60 percent. The view, because they're Democrats and they have politicized this issue, anyone who talks like Dr. Phil right now, you're, they're going to see him as some crazy Trumpy Republican Christian mm. nationalist redneck. So mm. also yeah. Yeah. Sure. Was, they were trying to save they were trying lives, to save so kids' well. lives. Now they're oh man, they're falling over each other now. Whoopi and they were trying to save people's lives. That's all they were trying to do is try and save them from the okay. I'm I'm not denying the attempt. They were trying. So remember we know a lot of folks who died during this. So it wasn't people weren't laying not around eating children. bond, but not he says not school children. And he, he means, Whoopi's saying something correct, by the way. We know people who died, and Dr. Phil is saying something also correct. You know people who died, but not the school children. So locking everything down did not save their lives because they, in general, were not vulnerable. Well, you know what? We're lucky. Maybe we're lucky they didn't because we kept them out of the the, the places that they could be sick. That's not what happened. Lie. The kids just were not vulnerable to this particular virus the way that older people were. Mm. She has invented a political narrative. Because no one wanted to believe we had an issue. Now that's not true, that no one wanted that's to believe to that me. we had an issue. Everyone knew we had an issue. Are you saying no school children died of COVID? Now, Ann Navarro gives a terrible argument saying, are you saying no kids died of COVID? That literally is not what he said. He didn't mean zero. This is a weird thing where once you think that the shutdown was necessary, you now have to argue that there was no possible negative side to it. Mm. See, that's <clears throat> what Ann Navarro is doing. And it, it really shows an unsophisticated mind. I'm saying it was the safest group 
they were the less vulnerable group. And that is not uh, controversial. It is to the view because they have an, a, a political agenda to demonize people who are not 100% on board, yes, sir, marching to the flag and the goose stepping in the streets. And they suffered and will suffer more from the mismanagement of COVID than they will from the exposure to COVID. And that's not an opinion, that's a fact. Mm. Dr. Phil has done something that is very rare to see on The View. True, the true. audience is clapping for him and they're against all of the five panelists on The View. And the hosts mm. are just Media gonna looks go stupid. unglued on them. They're getting the this. Well, Phil. We don't even have time to talk it out now, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't even talk. And Phil's going like, yeah, I'd love to talk about this more. And Whoopi's like going, uh, uh, Dr. Phil has a book. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> but thanks for coming. The new book is called. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please be cautious. Don't get me into trouble. I'm Doug in exile. Okay. Right now, Dr. Phil knows what is happening. I'm not a supporter of Dr. Phil, but this... <laughs> I'm supporting him because I think he's just trying to reveal the secret out. A lot of things have been hidden on the carpet. A lot of things have been hidden by the view. A lot of things have been hidden that we don't know. He's trying to bring it out to the light. Like during COVID time, distancing children from another child, like it's, it's really affected them. You see, you told children not to go to school, whereas casino was actually open. And when they return back to the school, you distance them space, space. Like you give them a massive gap. This, the, same, the same organization that advocated for phone usage, uh, damage to children, the same, the same organizations are the ones who advocate for lockdown that created depression, anxieties for children. It was really, really bad during those times. That was occurring, that we were unable to know what is really occurring because child abuse went high. It actually increased. During those time of lockdown, these things are swept under the carpet. Like people are unaware. We need to be talking about this. Dr. Phil just exposed the view. He exposed what is hidden. He made everyone in the view look stupid. He made each and every one of them look stupid. And that was what our applause was for. Like he revealed a secret. And Whoopi was not happy with that. She was pissed, but she was not expressing it out. So she cut him short on the on an instant, she caught him short. I was like, Dr. Phil, it's time to go home. <laughs> she know Dr. Phil is bringing that, is exposing the secret. So she had to cut him short or else he's going to expose more. This is really, really serious. This is serious. More than what we are saying, more than being the eyes, guys. We need to check more about this, the view. We need to look into them. We need to look into Whippy. We need to look more into what they're saying. I love Dutch in there as I checked on the comments, you're going to see his channel. Go check him out because he's really good. He uncovers the secrets. He uncovers this for us to see. We need to check more about this. Whoopi is hiding something. And Dr. Phil, do I'm not a supporter of him, but this, this was commendable. This was impressive. He just revealed the secret that was hidden. And I'm really pleased by this. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all